right, so Jarena, we're out here at the Phoenix Open this week, and you're an ambassador for Waste Management. What's it been like working with them? Um, it's been amazing. You know, it's an amazing company uh, for what they do for the uh, community, whereas um, donations, charity, um, but not only that, um, just our earth, um, you know, teaching spectators, everybody how to recycle, recycle properly. Like I've learned a ton just by coming myself and you know that's it's a very important part because you know we're we may not be here forever but our earth is and it's an important part to protect that and to leave it better than where we found it so um, they're they're amazing. Do you have a, a pick for who you think is going to play well this week? Who do you think is going to take home the win? I've got to pick Charlie. I mean I, I um, I mean, there's so many good guys out there. Um, you know, obviously Justin Thomas is a favorite. So Ricky Fowler, I think it'd be cool to see him uh, defend his title. I don't think it's been done. Yeah, it it, it just be it. I think it'd be good for the tournament for Ricky Fowler to win again. Everybody seems to love Ricky out here, so I'll definitely agree with you there. Yes. Another great thing is that you're a mom on tour. I'd love to hear more about that. I'm sure you're asked this all the time, but we'd like to hear more about kind of what that process is like for you on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, yeah, it's definitely a lot more work than I had before I had a kid, which I didn't think that that was possible. But, um, you know, it's just a lot more of um, being more, just, I guess, be more purposeful with your time and um, definitely have more luggage to carry. Mm -hmm. Logistically, it's harder, um, but also when you get to a tournament, you don't have that unlimited time like you did, like I did before. Um, yeah. You know, if I play around and I need to work on my putting or work on my chipping, um, I may have only 30 minutes to try to figure it out. Whereas right. before, I could just stay out there till dark or whatever. Um, so that's definitely been a, a huge change for me. But um, to be a mom and to um, still be able to compete, we have a daycare on our tour. It's sponsored by Smuckers yeah. and. We definitely would not be able to do what we do if it wasn't for them. I mean, it's, I always say like, you know, they say that they're daycare ladies, but I feel like they're family because they love our children as like their own. And that, nothing means more to me than that. Being on the golf course, not have to worry about uh, what my son's doing or if he's getting taken care of. <laughs> so like it's their second mom, right? Yes, it's, it's amazing. So very thankful for that. Well, it's great that you have them, and it just makes that tournament experience that much easier, right? How exactly does that work? So you show up to practice, and they kind of just take over from there? Um, yeah, so every week there's a daycare spot, whether it's at a golf course or um, a hotel or a conference room. They let you know ahead of time, and you're just in contact with the daycare ladies. You tell them what time you're going to drop them off, what time you're going to pick them up, um, your tea time, and they're very flexible. Um, if you do miss the cut, they're still available on the weekend. You can use a daycare from 9 to 3. So. Um, they definitely make it possible to be a working mom and continue your dream and it is, I mean, it, it, it just means the world to us. It's tough, you know, to be so focused on your career aspirations, but you also still want to have a family, you still want to be a mom. What is some advice that you have to other women who are going to be doing the same things? It doesn't matter what you choose to do, that's, that's the right thing for your family. Whether you choose to keep working, then that's the right thing for your family. Um, I'm a firm believer and God gives you that ability to care for your family and nurture and love and you know what I do for my family maybe look different than what someone else does for their family but it doesn't mean that I'm right or they're right or I'm wrong or they're wrong so um, you know if you choose to go back to work and be a working mom hats off to you that is awesome and if you choose to be a stay-at-home mom more hats off to you because that is some hard work. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't even imagine. So what can we expect from you this 2020 season? What are you looking forward to the most? I'm looking forward just to have some consistency in my play and um, that's kind of been my whole mantra of my whole career is just be consistent and um, focus on the process and the results will take care of themselves. If I go out there and I be consistent and I'm consistent with my ball striking or making putts or making cuts or it'll, it'll all add up in the end and I think the results will come and um, obviously I'd love to get my first win uh, being that I have my son now and you know just thinking of making that final putt on the last hole and having him run out to the green it just I mean it like gives me chills to think about so it's definitely a big motivation for me. Well I hope you get that and I'm sure you will. I have absolute confidence in you and thanks for joining us this weekend. Have a good rest of the time. Yeah, thank you.